Hello and welcome to another spring edition of Game On On The Record, brought to you by Homer Nine and Sons. Alongside Mike Byers, I'm Andrew Chiapese. We are here at Riverside High School, to be exact, Dan Elwayastro Baseball Field, where the Panthers baseball team is 10-1 overall, 5-0 in Section 5 AA play. Later in the show, we'll talk to pitcher third baseman Michael Boswell. Let's talk Riverside baseball. Yeah, we all thought that Riverside was going to be pretty good this year after they had a strong season last year. But I think they've impressed basically everyone because of their pitching. We'll talk to Michael Boswell about it, but he's not alone because they're allowing just 1.4 runs per game. That's, that's going to win you a lot of baseball games when you have a guy like Boswell who's basically a 1.00 ERA. You know, you have Vince LaCasano and Adam Jeanette as well. That's going to get you a, a lot of wins when you have that kind of pitch. Well, AJ, the pitching has been outstanding, no doubt about it. But this is a great team from top to bottom. Uh, look at that lineup. A lot of seniors who played uh, for a long time in this program. you got guys like Jason Damball, the center fielder, who's batting 500. Mm -hmm. You have his brother, Austin, in right field. I think he's hitting uh, 444. you got other guys that are hitting 400 and a high, uh, high 370s. And, of course, this team is well coached by the legendary Dan Oliastro. Yeah, absolutely right. And as you take, you mentioned a couple of those names, I'm really impressed with the way that Jason Danbox said. When you're hitting 500, that's, that's pretty incredible. Yeah. And as we've learned, a couple of the big guns haven't even been hitting. Boswell hasn't been hitting that well. He's coming around. And Colby Wolf, who had a lot of power last year, is coming around too after a slow start. So if you add those guys into the mix with the guys that you mentioned, man, when you've got pitching, you've got hitting, you got defense, that sounds like a, a, a team that could go pretty far in this playoff. AJ, that's right. This is a complete baseball team. We kind of figured out going in, into the season. Uh, they have a lot of kids back from last year's team. This is a program that's historically go, going deep in the playoffs. They have two Whippy Old Championships, and remember, they have four state titles. That's more titles than any team in the state of Pennsylvania. Well, joining us now to talk about Riverside's strong start to the season is senior pitcher Michael Boswell. Michael, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Michael, you have 10 wins so far, but I would think the signature win was that 10-2 win over the Shannick, the reigning Whippiole and state uh, AA champions. Uh, I think it was 10-2 in that game. You pitched that game. What was it like beating the Shannick and especially their pitcher? They have a great staff. Uh, beating the Shannick was one of the great. That was our main our main goal for this year was to come out and take down the top dog in the section. Yeah. section. Uh, they were ranked above us at the beginning of the year, and we knew we were going to be an, end up being a better team than them. So it just was nice to come out and prove we were a better team. You guys have done a lot of good things with your starting staff, including yourself. Um, what has made you guys so good on the mound, whether it's you, whether it's Adam Jeanette, whether it's Vince Lacazano, what is working for you guys as a pitching staff? Uh, our defense, actually. Our defense. We know we can throw the ball over the plate, and our defense is going to make great plays for us. Uh, I think we only had one error coming into like the midpoint of the ha first half of the season, so that was nice, ha being able to throw the ball over the plate and knowing guys behind you always had your back. What did you do to try and improve yourself as a pitcher from last year? Because you had a pretty good year last year, too. And obviously, you're off to an even better start this year. Uh, over the summer, I actually played in the Youngstown Class B League uh, out in well, Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, some of the best competition around goes out there. I know Colby Wolf, who's our first baseman, goes out there. He plays out there. Competition's great out there. And it was I was able to step up my game out there. Michael, we're standing on hell of ground right here. This is Dan Oliastro Field, the legendary coach at Riverside, 48 years uh, what's it like playing for that guy? What makes this guy tick? Oh, I don't know. That's just he knows how to get under. He knows how to make us win. He know he's a winner. He know, he's always known how to win. Uh, coming up through like the little league programs stuff like that, you always heard about Coach Oliaster and how good he is and how how well he's going to produce good athletes coming out. So it was nice coming up through little league and getting to here and finally seeing like. He is one of the best coaches around. Well, speaking of those wins, you guys have a couple of state championships here at Riverside. Uh, is there pressure to live up to those expectations? Do you feel that you're setting higher expectations because of what Riverside teams have done in the past? Uh, expectations are always high. It is a little bit, uh, a little bit of pressure on you, but being able to look back and see the seniors when I was a freshman and when I was in eighth grade, and we just try to model ourselves around them and be like they were and win, win big games and win championships. Michael, uh, thanks for your time today. Uh, congrats on a great st uh, start so far. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Well, that does it for this edition of Game On On The Record. You can check out anything you might have missed on our Facebook page. Join us at timesonline.com every day for stories, stats, videos, photos, and more of all our spring sports action. And, of course, you can always follow us on Twitter with the account TimeScores for all the latest news and updates from those of us here at timesonline.com. For Mike Byers, I'm Andrew Chiapese. That does it for now. We'll see you soon.